We're going to do the cheer too. <laughs> All right. Well, I actually went to um, a Cadillac dealership last night, but it didn't go too well because I had actually bought two cars from them before and the manager didn't even recognize me. So I was a little disappointed with that. So I think I'll tell you guys about a real life experience that I had about a week ago. Um, I had actually just found out my truck needs about $2,000 worth of work, so I went out to a Chevy dealership, which was Naperville Chevy on Ogden Avenue, and I pulled up in my uh, truck, and she, the uh, salesperson immediately walks over me as I'm driving to the parking lot and kind of stops me. She's like, so, what are you doing here? I'm like, well, <laughs> I uh, either have to sink $2,000 into this right now to get it up to uh, par, or I'm trading it in for something else. She's like, well, what are you trying to do? It's like, well, I need to uh, try to get into a little bit more payment, get a car that I can actually have that's in good shape, doesn't need any cost out of pocket right now. So I'm looking at some used Suburbans and things like that, like maybe an 07 or something along those lines. And she's like, well, you know, those are pretty expensive. You're going to be paying a lot more money for it, you know. And I was like, really? Well, why is that? And she's like, well, you don't know uh, how much you own your truck. And I was like, well, I owe about 15 on it. She said, well, it's not even worth 9000 anymore. So uh, you're really going to have to go on oh something brand new if you want to get something at all. You're not going to be able to get a car. Sounds I was like, like anniversary. Yeah, I was like, well, wow. I can't afford brand new, so I guess that means I'm not buying a car then. And she's like, guess not. She's like, good luck. Wow. <laughs> So she had zero control of the sales process and pretty much talked you out of the sale. Yeah. Oh yeah, she, she said, look around. You see all these cars in the parking lot? No one wants to buy trucks anymore. She's like, you're screwed. You're not going to be able to get out of this. Oh so my like, gosh. Yeah. Wow. Hey, wow. That's I great. love those trucks. Yeah. People, I love suburban. People oh, every day, yeah. people every day in your uh, yeah. current situation uh, trade their cars all the time. And oh, that's yeah. in that same situation. So... And I ended up buying, uh, yeah, I, I ended up getting everything fixed on my truck. I'm going to keep it for another 100,000 miles now. So, so you know. you end up spending how much? About 2000 fixing it up. So that $2,000 could have been, you, you've been yeah. willing to use that as a down payment, correct? Um, yeah, if I needed to. Right. So had she had that $2,000 and went through the proper, and, and had gone through our training course where she was taught to, how much besides tax and tags? How much money would you be willing to invest into your new? How much money are you going to invest in your new vehicle? Oh yeah. She didn't do any of that. No, if she would have walked me through the process and actually said that this is possible, let's see what we can do for you on numbers, and then would have basically started uh, working on some numbers for me right away. I would have definitely uh, considered with a lot more certainty buying something that day and getting rid of the truck. So because the same two thousand dollars that you spent in service, you could have spent on the new vehicle. Exactly. And how many vehicle? How many miles is on the vehicle that you have? Uh, about ninety thousand. Okay, so you have a ninety thousand mile vehicle. And she pretty much told you you're screwed, you can't buy a car, and you have $2,000 you can spend to improve your driving situation. Yeah. So $2,000 is going to lower your payment quite a bit. It's going to eat up some of the negative equity, isn't it? Yeah. And you might have spent a little more than $2,000 to get out of your 90,000 mile vehicle and into a new vehicle. Pretty much, yeah. So, wow. Yeah. She obviously did not sell you a vehicle and probably will never sell you a vehicle ever again. Oh, yeah. Let me ask you a question, Adam. Are you never going to buy a vehicle ever again? Uh, I would not say that. Okay. So chances are you will buy another car. Oh, absolutely. Just will not be from her. Exactly. Case closed. Give him a round of applause.